everybody and welcome back to my channel. So it is currently Wednesday morning and I am in a hotel right now. You can probably tell by my background and if you saw my video earlier this week, you will know that I am here in a hotel. I'm not here by myself though, so Josh is here with me, but also we have some cats. We have cats in the hotel. So back home, we are actually currently getting our floors redone in the kitchen and the front entryway of the house. So that has meant that for a couple days, no one and no animals can really walk on the floor. So we have been in a hotel for a few days now while the floor gets done. And like I said, no people or animals can really walk on the floor. So we brought our cats with us here. And now some people might be wondering where Alaska is. So typically if we're like traveling at a hotel or something Alaska just goes to her pet sitters they just live like down the street from us and they have a nice big backyard and then this way she gets to go and run around and spend her time with other dogs and she doesn't have to be stuck in a teeny tiny hotel room with all of us because that wouldn't be fun for Alaska and it also probably would not be fun for us because she is a very 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 energetic dog so it is just about the cat's breakfast this time so we are gonna go ahead and get them all taken care of oh this is good lighting our hotel does have like a little kitchen area so that has made it very easy to still take care of the cats so we have their food bowls right here and then we have the cats food right here and then we have a spoon which I just dropped on the floor So here's their breakfast for the day. So both of the cats here eat Big Country Raw and we do rotate their formulas. However, this one here happens to be the salmon one. There you go, Oryx. And there you go, Misty, or Oryx, I guess. <laughs> we have two cats and two food bowls. They heard a noise outside the door and now they're both just like staring at it. It's nothing for you guys. Go and eat your food. There you go, Oryx. Oryx knows what's up. Misty, no one is there for you. Oryx, no one is there for you either. Now Oryx has claimed Misty's food. Misty, what are you gonna do about it? Oryx once again is distracted by the noise on the other side of the door. I thought that it would be fun to do a little hotel room tour to give you guys a look at where Josh and I and the cats have been staying for the past few days. So this is the uh, front entryway to the hotel here. You know, it's a pretty standard entryway. There's a door, there's a mirror here, there's a bench that has some stuff on it with some shoes underneath of it. And then if I'm standing right up against the door, there is another mirror here, which is over the cat's litter boxes. 
Obviously this didn't come with the hotel room. <laughs> These are the litter boxes we put out for the cats and a towel that we brought to be their litter mat. However, there is still litter all over the floor that we need to vacuum, but there's that. And then over to the left here, we have the bathroom door. So let's go ahead and check that out. So this is the bathroom here. It's a pretty big bathroom. You can see we have the toilet over there with some towel racks above it. And then the shower is right here. It's all foggy because Josh just took a shower, so toilet, shower. And then over here we have the sink with the mirror. And one of my favorite things is this really big jacuzzi bathtub right here, which Oryx is sitting in. Oryx is in the bathtub. <laughs> So there's a really nice jacuzzi bathtub in this hotel room that Oryx is currently walking around in, but I don't know if you guys know this, but I love baths so much and my bath at home is so small and disappointing, so having a nice big bathtub for a couple days is nice, but I'm very sad to leave. And the cats are checking it out now too. So there you go, there is a look at our hotel bathroom and some cats in the bathtub. So then if you walk out of the bathroom like I said there's the whole litter area over here and then the rest of the room all over here so we do have a little tiny kitchen area here so we have a little mini fridge with some like drawers and stuff there's a tiny little sink coffee machine microwave so this has thankfully made it really easy both to feed ourselves and also to feed the cats and stuff so we have that little kitchen there this like foggy window here is the one that is just above the bathtub, so it kind of looks into the bathroom, but you can't actually see through it, so there's that. And then over here we have our bed, which is clearly not made. Ooh, who cares about making beds? I sure don't. So there's our bed. There's, you know, a nightstand on each side. It is a king size bed, which I really, really, really want in my own house. Over here we have this little seating area. This chair is currently um, also home to my pile of clothes right there so that's what's going on over here then we have this window here with a beautiful 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 view of the top of this building it's a uh very quality view, it's uh, really, really good. And next to the window here, we have this desk and chair, and then there's like the dresser and the TV. Over here is where we kind of made a little cat corner, so we have their carrier right here, their bed, one of their toys, and then obviously we have just like cat toys scattered all over the floor and cats on the floor, so there you go. There is a look at our hotel room. This is where we have been staying for the past couple days. What happened here? This blanket was like on the bottom of the carrier. <laughs> I guess one of the cats just like pushed it all out. And Oryx has been over here in the litter box now for like five minutes just digging in the two of them. <laughs> Make up your mind, which box do you want to go in? I don't know how, but it's like we came to a hotel and the cats decided that it is time to shed all of their fur that they've just been holding on to all year. I swear Misty does not shed this much at home, but there is so much Misty fur all over the hotel now. We did bring a little vacuum since uh, there's cat litter and hair everywhere, so we will be vacuuming the floors before we go. If you guys watched my vlog that I posted earlier this week, you would have seen me going to some pet stores to get some cat toys for the uh, cat hotel. So here's a few of the ones that we got here. There's this like cardboard mouse cheese thing. I don't know what you call it. There's that. There's a watermelon kicker over here. We have these little tiny seahorses. And then if we go like in other areas of the room, we'll find some more toys like the balls over here. So the cats have had these toys to play with all weekend and they have been having lots of fun with them. Oryx seems to really like these little seahorse toys, which is really cute. I wasn't really sure how they would end up reacting to like 
small stuffed toys because I've never really had any before, but Oryx really likes them. And the watermelon kicker here will hopefully remain a favorite toy of theirs. And I haven't really seen them use this a whole lot other than Misty chewing on the top of it. So there's that, you know, they're not really using it a whole lot other than Misty chewing on it. So I guess it's a chew toy now. So overall, the cats have just done so well here, which is honestly really surprising to me. I didn't really know what to expect before we came here, and I have definitely been pleasantly surprised. Both Misty or Oryx have like never traveled with us before. We've never like moved houses with them or anything, so I really had no idea how they were going to react to like a new strange environment. And they were definitely a little bit weirded out at first, and you know, they had their moments of being a little bit scared and like nervous but overall they settled in really well they've just been like having fun exploring napping doing normal cat things so the cats seem to have had a really good time and i also had a really good time vacationing with the cats or i guess staycationing with the cats so personally i would recommend it if you are wanting to go on a vacation and <laughs> debating if you should bring your cat with you i say do it if you think your cat will be okay with it. What are you doing? Why are you digging in the floor over here? Cat vacation was a win in my books. So with all of that said and done, I am just going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little hotel vlog featuring the cat. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also be sure to check out all of my social media that will all just be down in the description below, but I would love to have you guys over there. So uh, be sure to do that. And with all that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Once again, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.